It is currently 6.45 in the morning. My normal morning routine is, my normal morning routine is to get up by like 5.15, 5.30 and get out for my runs as early as I can when I have long runs. This morning, I'm not sure if I'm running yet because the whole week has been kind of shifted around. I start my morning with a full bottle of water because they say that when you wake up, it's a lot easier for your body to absorb the water like right away. And then, have a cup of coffee. We are in the month of December, which is absolutely wild to think because I feel like this year has gone by so quick. It felt like yesterday was June. The day before was February. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know if time is speeding up or what, but this year has gone by, by way too quick. I'm not gonna lie though, it's been a tough year. And nothing so crazy, but when it comes to training and feeling my best, it hasn't been my best year. And I'm hoping that I can start from now doing things to set myself up for 2023 because I want 2023 to be like a great year. I want you guys to realize that everybody goes through something and your problems might seem small to somebody else but in the moment they're big to you so you just have to learn how to adapt, how to keep moving forward and always stay positive. I promise it's hard but it's so much better than the opposite. I'm hitting arms today. So tomorrow I'm running 13 miles and I haven't hit legs in two weeks. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanna be completely honest. It's just with so much running, I'm so afraid to be sore to run that many miles. And I know it's bad. I really have to get back into hitting legs. So I'm gonna hit legs on Sunday because next week is a deload week from running. I think we only run three to four times and it's short distance, so I'm not too worried. But I'm gonna hit legs Sunday and then every week after that, I'm just gonna hit enough legs to maintain. Nothing crazy, I'm not gonna do any crazy leg days until after the marathon, which is gonna be fun to get back into. I'm not proud, but I'm just being honest with you guys because I don't wanna lie to you. So I'm doing one scoop of creatine, three, four scoop of pump squared. Again, my absolute favorite product that I use in my pre-workout stack is pump squared. About one scoop of Von Walker's pre-workout. This one has a lot less caffeine than all the other ones. So C-Bums, I think it's around, if you take two scoops, it's around like 300 milligrams. Uh, this one is only 100 milligrams for two scoops. And then I'm gonna do about one and a half scoops of raw pump, but it's I'm using it as a tripod right now. So I'm gonna do that in a second. Okay, so welcome back to another voiceover. I was training a client before this, so I ended up bringing the pre-workout that I had just in the shaker cup, and I brought some water, and I poured it in after. And then I ended up eating three Rice Krispie treats before the workout because I needed some carbs with all the running that I do and uh, then working out. And also, if I'm on my feet a lot, I noticed that I have no energy or I feel like I have no glycogen storage in any of my muscles unless I am eating carbs constantly and especially right before my workout. So it definitely, it's super important, but I ended up hitting arms here. I did a single arm push down. I use this movement to kind of warm up my elbows before I go into any heavier movements, and especially if I'm doing like an overhead movement, which is going to be the next movement. And so I just did about four sets, increasing the weight each set, doing 12 reps. And then towards the end, I was doing about like eight reps. I then went into an overhead easy bar tricep extension. So this one I started light again just to make sure that I was getting the movement right. And then as soon as I felt comfortable enough, I increased the weight. Here I'm doing 80 pounds with the easy bar. Uh, you can tell that I'm struggling. And each set basically looked like this. It was near uh, or to failure. Uh, after that, I moved into a single arm preacher curl uh, on the machine. And this one felt really good on the biceps. I like doing this one and isolating the biceps each because I've noticed that my right bicep is bigger than my left bicep and it's really annoying. And honestly, I've asked people, but they don't really see it. I guess maybe it's the body dysmorphia talking. I don't know. Then here, I got this one from Sebum uh, where you're doing an alternating curl, but you hold the dumbbell on the other side up as you curl the other dumbbell. And then once you finish about basically failure, you try go for a little past failure by doing each arm uh, alternating but with no holding it up the dumbbell at the top um, and then yeah so for the next movement I used these fat grips uh, they were sent to me 
Honestly, these help with grip strength and I have terrible grip strength. I don't have it in this video, but I did two uh, sets of hammer curls with the fat grips on and then I did two sets without them just to uh, go a little bit heavier because you can't really go that heavy with the fat grips on. I then went into chin-ups doing a body weight movement for biceps. Apparently gymnasts say that this is the best for your biceps and then I superset it with some close grip push-ups till failure. Uh, I like finishing my arm workouts with something more challenging and more uh, volume. So usually it's something like this or I'll do a uh, one drop set of like a dumbbell curl or a machine preacher curl. The Metro Boomin album just came out today. I had no idea he was coming out with an album. It's actually pretty good. I like it. So many good features. It's called Heroes and Villains. It features future Chris Brown, Don Tolliver, Travis Scott, 21 Savage, ASAP Rocky. I used to listen to ASAP Rocky a lot. It's a good album. Check it out. So I'm home. If it's during the weekend, it's not a vacation day. I'm in a rush every single day. I don't plan accordingly when it comes to leaving places and time. Uh, I need to be better about that. So I'm gonna eat this. It's literally just pita bread, some cold cuts. I think it was like lemon pepper chicken, boar's head, and boar's head honey mustard, which if you've never tried it in sandwiches, it's the best. If you've never had a pub sub and you live in Florida, you have to go get a pub sub uh, it's with the chicken tenders inside and if you get I prefer honey mustard But they also have where you can like douse the chicken in buffalo ranch, which is also pretty good You got it. You got to try it. I'm gonna scarf this down. I'm not gonna head to basketball. I just want to stay home and do nothing, but We gotta work I guess it is currently 1034 at night I ended up getting my young LA stuff that I ordered for Black Friday So I'm gonna try that out in tomorrow's vlog. I'm gonna end the video here It is too late for me right now to do it because I have to go to bed. I have to be up by around 4.50 because I wanna be out of the house by 6.15 and be running by 6.30. We have 13 miles tomorrow morning. I'm running it with one of my good friends. He's the one I'm, that I've been training with for the marathon. I just need my sleep. I feel exhausted right now. I know today was a boring day. I am sorry. Tomorrow there'll be a lot more going on. I have, I'll show you guys a little bit more morning routine before I go run. I'll try to take you out a little bit while I'm on the run. I also just ended the night with a Nutella sandwich. Don't judge me. I am weak and I love Nutella. So I'm going to drink a bottle of water. I'm going to go to bed. I don't know if you guys can see both the last video and this one. I just seem so tired. It's also because I haven't had coffee in the afternoon and usually I do. And now I'm just rambling on. So I'm going to go to bed. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because there are more videos to come. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.